I want to give you a, a reasoned, rational, intelligent, well communicated explanation of what is it that makes EXP so different? Why is this business so profitable, so successful, growing so fast? And hopefully I will be able to answer that question today. If what you see intrigues you, the next step I would suggest you take is go and do a bunch of homework. That's important because you don't want your opinion of this thing to, to just be my voice. It's when you first take an intelligent look at EXP and you suddenly realize that there is a reason why there is a hype about this business and perhaps against your better judgment, <laughs> you actually start to get excited. And then you start doing more and more homework and you can't sleep at night. That happens to many of us when we first see this business. And if you dive into this page, which I've just got a screenshot of on, on your screen there, um, you will probably get EXP insomnia and there's endless material for you to dive into and get lost there. Go and do some homework. Then get together. Get together with the person who invited you here today. Even if it's just to ask questions, to clarify, to share your views, maybe you are excited about it. Maybe you, you've kind of, you, you, you're excited, but you are scared of leaving where you currently are. These are very common emotions. We've dealt with this with hundreds and hundreds of agents. By the way, EXP is the fastest growing company in South Africa's history now as well. We are just short of a thousand agents. It may be today we actually hit a thousand. So we've got a thousand agents after just two and a half years. Nothing in South Africa's history has ever even come close to that. So maybe it is that like the many people who've joined over the last two and a half years, you're also going to go through an emotional process. The best thing you can do, go and do some homework and then get back together in the next couple of days with the person who invited you here and just have a transparent and open discussion with them. All good things in life come through relationships come through open honest communication and taking a journey with other people i honestly believe that and this just may be the next breakthrough that you've been waiting for in your career because it has been for many as you look into exp's model um if you're anything like me one of the first things you're going to notice about what makes this company different from everybody else because they are a market disruptor is the fact that EXP gives you an exit plan. All right, what does that mean? Well, an exit plan is what the traditional model of real estate does not give you. Um, you probably have, in your sober moments, you've probably had the same thought cross your mind as I had as 20 years being in the real estate training business. And that is this, that the moment you stop working, you will stop earning. And this was true of me. I had a great real estate coaching and training business. I was, uh, had the, the country's biggest training company in the real estate sector, and we had the country's biggest one-on-one -on -one coaching business. That was in the early 2000s. It was an awesome business. And then what happened? 2008 happened. The global economic crisis absolutely smashed my business. Um, I was in out of business for about seven years. I was in the ministry for seven years and then got back into um, business when I finished. I did a master's degree through a seminary in the States. When I finished my master's degree, I knew I had to get back into to business and producing income. So I started my real estate training business again. That time I said, I'm going online because I don't want staff. I don't want um, offices. I don't want like expenses coming out my ears because I'd been down that road before. So um, I started an online learning business. It seems like a really good model. And at times it was, you make an enormous amount of money in two hours on a webinar. But here's the problem. The next month, I had to start again. I had to find another group of people to do a webinar with, another co-host. I had to get another speaking engagement. I had to speak at another conference of a real estate company. And I had a good reputation. I did training for all of the real estate companies in South Africa. But... I'm telling you, it was a grind. Now, maybe you do relate to that. Maybe there is something in your sober moments when you've said to yourself, you know what? I actually, I'm going to keep doing this until I'm in, I'm in my 80s. I'm going to keep doing this until I actually physically can't do it anymore because it doesn't matter how many homes I sell this month. 
at the beginning of, of, of next month, I've got to go out and find listings again. It's just Groundhog Day. It never changes. And guys, I can tell you, I've met many very, very, very successful real estate agents. In fact, um, at my build conference next year, it looks like we're going to get one of the top real estate agents in the world to come and speak. Her name is Jennifer Jones. She's a Canadian estate agent. Um, she sold uh, in the last couple of years, I'm not sure which year it was, she sold over 500 homes in a year. And many of them are multi-million dollar homes. This is a very successful lady. And Jennifer said to me, I was in Texas a couple of weeks ago. She said to me, Stephen, I need to transition my business to doing what you do. What do I do? Well, I'm working the exit plan of the EXP. She's a member of EXP, but she hasn't been working the exit plan strategy. And she says, I need to move on to this. She's making a fortune on her sales, but she is still locked in. It's this golden handcuffs. So this is what you're going to notice. EXP gives you a way to build up a passive income and an asset base that will allow you to stop working. And if you work the, the model well, you can do that within a five-year period. You can be financially free for the rest of your life within the next five years using EXP's model. Now, what are the two main uh, candidates there or, or, or the two main tools? The first one is you can build up a dollar-based shareholding in the business. Um, so EXP, I'll get into later, is a NASDAQ-listed company. It's listed on one of the major stock exchanges, the Tech Stock Exchange of America. The share price has actually been doing really well. It's doubled in the last three months. And we get given shares for doing what you're already doing at your current company. So every single one of us here who's an EXP agent, as long as we've done one deal with the company, we are all shareholders in the business. We get given shares. The second way you can do this is by setting up a passive income. Right, Passive income is income that you earn whether you get out of bed or not. It just gets put into your bank account once a month for work that you did in the past. This is what EXP's model allows. We can build up a passive income using their revenue sharing model. All right, I'm going to get into the detail of how that works later. Just get the point for now. EXP is an agent-owned and an agent compensating business. Because the agents own the business, the agents share the revenues of the business. I mean, that right there is a phenomenal, mind-bending, disruptive fact. We own the company. We share the revenues in the company. All right, so that should get your attention. The other thing which you're going to notice and I say that because this is something that stands out to many estate agents when they see EXP's model for the first time, is that for, perhaps for the first time in your career, you are going to own your own business, but you get to build it on somebody else's platform. I don't know if you enjoy, if you are in a local office at the moment, your principal breathing down your neck, um, asking you for reports, asking you how many listings you've got, asking you how many phone calls, how many doors did you knock on, how many flyers did you print this week. I don't know if you want to be micromanaged or nitpicked or you think you maybe need that kind of accountability. I don't know if you enjoy having to be in the Monday morning office meeting um, or do desk duties or or be told you can only work in a certain geographic area, and if you get a, a lead somewhere outside of that area, you've got to give it away to someone else. You know, these are things that I, I talk to state agents all the time. I spend all day speaking to agents who are thinking about coming across to EXP, and these are the things I hear all the time. I'm so tired of being micromanaged. I am I'm an adult. I am an experienced agent. I trust myself. I'm willing to stand on my own two feet as an agent. I just want a platform to be able to run my own thing on. I don't want to have to start a real estate business of my own. Maybe there are some principals in the room and they will tell you it is expensive to run a real estate company. You've got to have a trust account that gets audited every year. There's all the admin and headache around that audit. You've got to have P24 memberships. That sometimes costs five, six, seven, eight thousand rand a month or more. You've got to have a private property membership. You've got to have a Lightstone membership. You've got to have an office. You've got to then have administrative start. You've got to start recruiting agents and then you train them up and then a couple of years later they leave and a bunch of them are unproductive. It is expensive and it is 
um, administratively stressful running a real estate business. What eXp does is it gives you all the freedom of running your own business, but none of those other legal, administrative, or expense items that come along with, with having your own real estate business. In fact, you can even be an intern, or what we call a candidate property practitioner now, to, be the, to be, have the correct term. You can even be a candidate and join eXp, and you have the same benefits as everybody else. You earn the same, you're on the same split, and you have all the independence. Okay, you will still need to have your si your deal signed off by a full status agent, but as far as the independence is concerned, you still won't have a boss. Okay, so how does all this work? What, what is this? Well, it was started by a guy called Glenn Sanford. Uh, Glenn Sanford was a former, um, very successful Keller Williams agent, and uh, in 2009, when there was this shift in the market, he took the opportunity to, I guess, um, experiment with an idea that he had. He was a high, highly technology-focused guy. Even when he was at Keller Williams, he didn't actually um, work in an office. He worked from home, and he did everything in the cloud. You know, this is before there was... Um, Google meetings or Zoom or webinars or anything like that. He really was a visionary. And um, in 2009, he started this, this cloud-based brokerage called eXp. And his, his um, philosophy was simple. He said, I've been an estate agent. I know what it's like, feeling like we do all the work, we make all the money around here, but the boss is the one who takes the holidays. I'm going to build a real estate business that's completely different. I'm going to build a business where everyone participates in the ownership and where everyone participates in the revenues of the business. And the more people help grow the company, if you help grow the company, then you can get a bigger slice of the revenues paid to you. And uh, that's what he did. And, and the other thing he said is going to be cloud-based. We're not going to have any bricks and mortar. Real estate is changing, he said. People are no longer walking into local offices to find property. They go onto the internet. I mean, he saw that in 2009. How much more is that true today? So, fast forward the clock. We are now um, the largest non-franchised real estate company in the world. We have just short of 90,000 agents. And as I've said to you, we're the fastest growing real estate company in history, not only in the world, but in South Africa. Um, when eXp goes into a new country, they start a company in that country, which they own 100%. So eXp World Holdings is the holding company. They own eXp South Africa. This is not a franchise. And what they do then is they employ a local team. So I was actually agent number three, I think I was, in South Africa. Um, Andrew Thompson was number one, who's the, who's the principal of the company, what they call the broker of record. Amanda Ray, who's the head of administration, and Robin, uh, it was Nell, now Robin Ferreira, she was uh, and is still the head of onboarding. So if you do join eXp, Robin is the lady you're going to be dealing with. Um, we now have a staff complement of, I don't know the exact number, it's around 14 or 15 full-time staff members because we've grown so well as a, as a, as a company. We now have a full financial team. Um, this is the, the management financial team, and, and then we have... Um, six transaction specialists who actually work with you on your transactions once you've got a live deal. So you will have someone who will be working with you on the FICA documentation and all of that. So the EXP South Africa team are, in, are an incredible team. They've built the fastest growing company in South Africa's history and soon to be, I predict in the next few years, the biggest real estate business in South Africa, they are doing a phenomenal job and they provide incredible support to our agents and our agents absolutely love dealing with the EXP South Africa staff. Okay, so what is it that makes this model so different? I wanna compare it to the traditional form of real estate. And this goes for every other real estate company on the planet, whether they are um, international franchises like Keller Williams and Century 21 and Sotheby's, etc., Remax, if it's one of those, or if it's a local franchise like a Pam Golding or a Chaz Everett or a C for whatever, 
they all work with this model. There is some kind of owner of the business. So who owns the business in, in, in Remax? Who owns Remax? Let me tell you, it's Dave Linegar owns Remax. Do any Remax agents own shares in the company? No, they don't. Okay. Dave Linegar owns it. So there's an ownership. Now that ownership has some kind of international or national headquarters. That's bricks and mortar. There we go. Some, some bricks and mortar for you. On the international side, then they have national um, like franchise owners. So someone will, will get the rights to Keller Williams in South Africa. And then there's like a national office, more bricks and mortar, and another layer of people that need to get paid. Now, just remember, every single one of these layers is scooping a big handful out of the revenues of the company. Okay, where do the revenues come from? We'll, we'll get to that later. There is no revenue in the business yet. Then the, the international guys, they then sell regional franchises. And then the regional, fran that's more bricks and mortar, more expenses. And then the regional franchises um, sell local franchises. So you can buy a Keller Williams Market Center or a Pam Golding uh, franchise if, if it's available. You buy it. There's a certain amount of money that exchanges there. And that's another layer. Now we ask, okay, where does all the money come from? Okay, well, all the money comes from the people at the bottom of this pyramid, the agents. It's the agents that do all the work. It's the agents that generate all the income. And the income that the agents make, um, typically 50% of their income is taken away from them. In your case, maybe it's 40. If you're really lucky, maybe it's 30 or even 20. It's the same principle. Throughout the company, they take a split of their agents' transactions. And what does it do? With their 50% that they get from you, what do they do with it? They keep it. You know why? Because it's got to feed the beast. That's what all the money, that's where it all goes to. And you don't get any of it back. And if you were to speak to a friend and say, hey, friend, I really enjoy working for ABC Banana Realty. Um, why don't you join us and, and, and start a career in real estate and you join the office? Are you going to get compensated when your friend does their first deal? And their second deal and their 20th deal and their thousandth deal are you going to get a part of the revenues of that agent because you helped grow the company didn't you no you're not all your revenue goes to feeding the beast okay so glenn sanford says now forget that we are going to put the agents at the very top of this thing now that's on the right hand side of the screen the agents make a hundred percent of the income and so we're going to make the agents the owners and we're going to share the revenues the second thing we're going to do is we are going to be a cloud-based business now where does all the money come from in exp system to be able to pay the kind of revenue share and stock awards that they do that's a very important question why is this business so profitable where does all the cash come from here's where it comes from if you were to add up for a remax for example i'm not picking on remax this is a well-known international franchise if you were to take a Remax and you were to add up all the bricks and mortar down the beastly pyramid, the international head offices, the, the national offices, the regional offices, and then all of the franchises on the corner of every street in every city in the world, you were to add up how much that office space costs every month, it would be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, EXP is a cloud-based business. They've taken that big pile of hundreds of millions of dollars and they've just swept it off the table. We don't own one building in the world. The whole company uh, runs in an avatar world, like a metaverse that we are proprietary owners of called EXP World. And if you need support, you don't have to go down to the local office and hope that the training person is in or hope that the transactional person is in. You just open the avatar world, you go in, you go to the South African offices and, and the staff are sitting in the offices and you can say, hi, Irene, it's Stephen. I've got a problem with X, Y, Z. Could you help me please? And they help you. You get better support, more accessible services from the company and it's all cloud-based and you don't even have to leave home to do it. It is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, that is what makes eXp different. Now, in that thing, 
we got to ask, is it working? Is the business actually profitable? Well, these are the latest stats, and this is an independent guy. Um, go to MikeDP.com and you'll see. Um, he quotes these stats on the real estate industry. This, these are U.S. stats, but EXP is a U.S.-based business, so we can look at it. Um, for the first quarter of 2023, EXP Realty, um, other than United, with a tiny little profit, is the only profitable real estate company in America. You look at the others, uh, the, the other fastest growing real estate company in, in, in America, the two have been EXP and a company called Compass. Uh, Compass's model is very different. They, they actually went out and bought. They've got a, an, acquis, an acquisitive model, acquisition. They go and buy small to medium-sized brokerages. They have lost so much money. They, they, if you look at Compass, they're on the very bottom. The next one up from there is a company called Anywhere, used to be called Realogy. Um, Anywhere, they own Sotheby's, uh, Corcoran, Barbara Corcoran from Selling Sunset. Um, they own ERA. They own Better Home and Garden, and they own um, uh, one of the other massive real estate companies in America. So that's the biggest conglomerate in America anywhere. Look how unprofitable they are, and look how profitable EXP is. So you, you look at the financials of this business. It is, uh, to me, folks, this company is unstoppable. This is the Netflix of real estate. Netflix have obliterated Blockbuster and Mr. Video. You know, the video stores don't exist anymore. Why? Because of live streaming. It's, it's a complete disruptive technology that comes into an industry and obliterates it. That is what is currently happening in real estate, and EXP is driving it. Four disruptive pillars to EXP's model. Um, I'm going to tell you in advance what these pillars are. These are the four things that make EXP's model what it is. I'll tell you what they are in advance, and then I'm going to go through them one by one, and that's the rest of today's webinar, and then we'll be done after, uh, after that. Okay, so the four pillars are, number one, a phenomenal technology platform. I've told you a little bit about that already, but I'll give you a little bit more detail. Number two, unbelievable training the very best training in the real estate industry without exception and without peer and i'll explain why that's quite a statement i do understand but i'm going to justify that statement later why exp's got the best training in the world so, uh, thirdly um this is an agent owned business so you get given access to to free nasdaq listed shares you can build up a dollar based shareholding and i'll explain how the stock awards work and then Lastly, the revenue sharing model of EXP system. That's the thing that, that um, Jennifer uh, Jones said to me she wants to get more into. And that's the, the opportunity to, to earn a passive income by attracting other agents to EXP. And then you get paid a part of their split that they're paying to the company. The company will share that with you because you were instrumental in growing the company. So they share the revenues. Okay, so let's go through these one by one. We start with EXP's technology platform. This um, point number one is really all about basic real estate, what it means to be an estate agent with EXP, because at the end of the day, the primary thing that EXP is, is a real estate company. And obviously, all the revenues are produced within EXP by agents selling homes. So what is it like being an estate agent with EXP? Well, um, there are a couple of costs. Now, these are going to change, I think, on the 1st of September. But at the moment, there's an 800 Rand joining fee to join EXP that, that gets you up and running and gives you access to all of our systems. And then there's a monthly cloud fee of 800 Rand per month. Now, on the 1st of September, that monthly fee is going up by 100 Rand a month. Okay, so it's going to be 900 Rand a month from 1st of September. But the good news is that extra 100 Rand is now getting us access to, um, you now get a virtual agent membership with your 900 Rand a month, and you get a PropCon membership, which is the best CRM system on the planet, particularly for South Africans. And my group has been on PropCon for the last two and a half years, and we've paid 167 Rand a month, each of us to be on PropCon. So you won't even have to pay that 167. For an extra 100 Rand a month, you're gonna get PropCon, and you're gonna get a virtual agent membership. Um, 
I, I stand under correction, but I believe that is true from the 1st of September. Okay, so what split are you on when you join EXP? Uh, just be careful here. You're on a 71.29 split from the moment you join. Now, why do I say 71.29 when the slide on the screen says 75.25? Well, because when you do a deal with EXP before you've capped, I'll explain capping just now, you pay 25% of your commission to EXP South Africa. But if you look at the bottom right-hand little uh, panel on that slide, in addition to the 25% you pay EXP South Africa, you pay 4% to EXP International. So you add the 25 and the 4, that gives you 29. So let's just call it what it is. You're on a 71-29 split. Now, let me just say something about the 71-29. It is a 71-29. It's not like you have it. A lot of these real estate companies where they tell you, oh, you're on a 50-50. And then you get your, your like statement from a deal that you've done. And you, you actually get paid 35%. Oh, yes, because there was the extra 5% franchise fee. And then there was that sort of 10% training fee. And then because you're an intern, we deducted another 5% off. And there's all these other deductions. That, that thing uh, drives me crazy. With the EXP, I don't care who you are and where you come from, you get paid 71%. And it gets paid into your bank account. Uh, and you have to take care of your own tax, okay? With EXP, you're a provisional taxpayer. You need to get someone to help you with your tax if you can't do it yourself because EXP don't take off PAYE. They pay you out the gross amount. Okay, so you're on a 71-29 split. But here's great news. EXP have put a cap on the amount of money that they want to get from you every year. They don't want to just keep collecting 29% from now until you leave the company. Every year, all they want from you on the 25% that's paid to EXP South Africa is they want 150,000 Rand from you. That's all. Now, if you work it backwards, 150,000 Rand, if you've paid that in, you don't have to pay that in, by the way. That's not a fee that you're paying. If you don't do any deals in a whole year, you won't pay in anything. It's just the 25% on your deals that you're paying in as the deals come in. But as you're paying that 25% in, it's counting, 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 counting. When that bucket gets full, 150,000 Rand, you would have done gross commission of 600,000 Rand for that year. And just if, if you stop that and watch it again, you'll see that it must, my maths makes sense. At that point, EXP caps you and they say, we don't want any more money from you. You will only pay the 4% to international from from now until the rest of your anniversary year. So if you join on the 1st of August, your year will run 1st of August to the end of July every year. Once you've paid in 150, you're then on 96% for the rest of that year, and then it resets again on the 1st of August. Okay, I hope I've explained the capping system correctly. Um, in summary, you're on a 71-29 split when you join EXP. After you cap, you go up to 96%. We just had an agent now, Brad Neal, he capped in six weeks, which means for over 10 months of the year, he's earning 96% of his commission. And he actually came from a company, he was with Tyson, where he was on a 50-50 split. He is making hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of rands more simply by moving to EXP because of the split. And in fact, Louise Duplessis said, said the same thing to me recently. Uh, she's a, an agent in Langabon. She said just moving, she was with, I think she was with Sotheby's, she, just moving uh, to EXP, she said it has completely changed her and her family's life. They're making so much more money. Um, okay, so that's the split. What does the 800 Rand a month give you access to? Well, there's a whole bunch of things, but the, you get a listing system, obviously, like any other real estate business. You get syndication to P24 and private property, unlimited clicks and leads and listings. So you don't have to worry about the P24 memberships. That's all covered in your 800 Rand a month. Uh, private property memberships, you get a Lightstone membership, and soon you're going to get a virtual agent and a PropCon CRM system membership. Your listings also syndicate to a bunch of international websites through EXP syndications. Uh, you go on the EXP Global website, and you're obviously on the EXP South Africa website as well. Um, you get access to our DocFox system. So DocFox is the system we use for FICA, the most advanced FICA system in South Africa. Plus, 
you get a micro website, you get access to our work chat. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff you get. We have got unbelievable systems with this business, as you would expect from EXP and their cloud-based um, platform. Okay, the one thing I do want to highlight is workplace and work chat. Um, these are apps designed by Facebook, but they are designed for internal company use. Um, EXP, I, as I understand, we have the largest workplace account in the world. Uh, there's 90,000 agents on it, and the collaboration within Workplace and WorkChat is unbelievable. In fact, I've got a meeting this afternoon with Jay and Ashley Nelson. They are um, a very successful ex Remax couple in America, and they've got one of the biggest EXP revenue share teams in the world. Um, an unbelievable couple. I'm hoping to get them to the build conference next year. How did I reach out to them? I sent them a message on work chat. It's like Facebook Messenger. I said, how's it, Jay? My name's Steve Johnson. I'm from South Africa. I loved your talk at the latest build conference, and I would love to talk to you about perhaps serving us in South Africa in a similar capacity. He got straight back to me. Hey, Steve, great to hear from you. Let's talk. So I've got a Google meeting with them this afternoon. This is the kind of collaboration that exists internationally within EXP, and it is the technology that drives it. Okay, so let's just talk branding. We're, we're still on point number one, this tech platform you get to build your own business with. Um, branding, you all, obviously there's all the branding uh, templates and artwork that you've got access to on EXP's website. You can download everything. There's the, the gray and white options, white and black, and then there's color options with the EXP logo. And all of that artwork's in place. You can download it for your stuff. What I really want to focus on is the flexible branding options. You've got one of two options when you come to EXP. You can either brand yourself as an EXP agent. And I think that's making more and more sense, actually, because the EXP brand is starting to become well-known in South Africa. So why not benefit from that? The other benefit is you don't have to reinvent the wheel. All of the artwork and everything's in place. You just download it, put your photograph on it, and you're away. But if you want to, you also can build your own brand with EXP. Now, this often happens with companies that, that are existing. So somebody owns an existing real estate brand. They don't want to lose the brand, uh, like Inch Properties. You know, um, Lynn has been running that business for many, many years. She doesn't want to lose the brand. It's got credibility in your area. No problem. Say EXP, you can keep your brand. You can keep your colors. You can keep your layouts. You can keep your website, you can keep your email addresses, you can keep it all. You've just got to have the Powered by EXP logo next to your logo. They do want it to be the same size. You're not allowed to have your stuff and then Powered by EXP in the bottom right-hand corner. They do want it to be the same size, but as long as you're willing to do that, you can keep your brand. All right, at this point, the only downside that I can see of doing this is that P24 and we are busy negotiating with them to get this right. So this may change by the time you watch this video. But we are um, at this point, you are not allowed to, to get your logo on the P24 listings. All P24 listings only have an EXP logo on them. I wish it wasn't so, and, and that's not an EXP thing. I know Andrew and I have talked about this often. We want that change, but that's a P24 rule. Uh, for some reason, they won't allow us to do it at this point, but we're going to see if we can get it right. Here's an example of a guy that's done that. Th this is a guy called Kyle Whistle. Uh, you may know Kyle Whistle. He's very, very big on, on YouTube. He was voted a couple of years ago as the top agent in the world using um, video. And uh, a couple of years ago, he moved his whole brokerage across to EXP, but they've chosen to keep their branding. So he's now a Whistle Realty Group. Uh, powered by or brokered by EXP. They use brokered by in the States. That's, I think, all I want to give you on the platform. If you've got other questions around what it's like being an agent with EXP, if you want to see the listing system and what that looks like and, and all of that, get hold of the person that invited you here today and they can show you all of that stuff. But that's just a basic explanation of the platform. Number two is the training. I said to you earlier that EXP provide the top training of any real estate company in the world. Now, why is that? Well, there's two reasons for that. We have um, a thing called EXP University. It is a standalone division with EXP Global that puts on a training calendar for the whole world. Okay. Now, um, you can go onto EXP's training calendar 
there's a little link. We can get that link to you. If you want it, we can send it to you and you can see for yourself all of the training that's coming up. Every single day, there's, there's between uh, 20 and up to 60 training sessions a day happening. And how can EXP do that? This is the first reason why the training is so good. Because we have an avatar world. We don't have to hire venues to put on training. You don't have to get on a plane and go to Australia to, to attend the Australian training. Or there's a really good guy speaking in London on negotiation skills. Or there's a, there's a property developer doing something in Atlanta. You don't have to get on a plane and go there. You can just go into EXP World, enter the correct venue where that training is taking place, and you'll be live with the trainer, with other agents, and you'll be enjoying the training. So the avatar world, it takes place in, in uh, venues like this one. Um, every little person you see sitting in a seat there is a, is a living, breathing human being. It's an estate agent somewhere in the world, and that's the speaker obviously up there on the stage. It's highly interactive. It's a really fun experience. You can actually walk up to the trainer afterwards and, uh, and have a conversation. Maybe you want to keep in touch on workplace afterwards. It's a great uh, place to meet people and to build those, those friendships. Okay, second reason why it's so good. EXP have a program called the ICON program. This is the top EXP agents in the world. In order to become an ICON agent, it's like the super duper club of EXP, like the double diamond, emerald, whatever. It's called the Icon Award. To become an icon in South Africa, you've got to do 5 million rand gross commission. Okay, so could you be an icon agent? That's very successful agents. And it's that kind of agent around the world. So the next question we ask about the training was, well, who's doing the training? You know, training is only as good as the person doing the training. Well, EXP have got an incentive for all icon agents around the world that says this. When you become ICON, they take your cap amount, which in South Africa is 150,000 Rand that you've paid in on your 25% split, and they actually give it back to you. And they give it back to you in the form of EXP shares. Okay, but there's a catch. In order to qualify for, I think it's 50% of those shares, the ICON agent has to do, I think it's six training sessions in EXP world. Now, that is phenomenal. Because what you've got there is an incentive system that highly financially incentivizes the top agents in the world in the company to train the other agents. So you can go onto the EXP's training calendar and it'll say, oh, icon training, um, how to work by referral, icon training, negotiation skills, icon training, social media mastery, icon training. And you know that is being run not by some theory driven trainer, someone who's never done it, that is training that's being done by someone who is currently crushing it in the market using these very techniques. Think about that, guys. That is worth millions of rands to you, to be able to get training like that from the top people in the world. And EXP's environment provides for it. So um, even I would have a word with you guys who are EXP agents in this room. Are you taking advantage of the icon training that happens every day in EXP world? Just jump onto the EXP's calendar, see whatever session catches your eye, and go and do some icon training every year. I mean, every week. It's there for you. Take advantage of it. In addition to that, you also get access to all of my training. Now, this is, if you're on this webinar today, it's more than likely you're going to be joining my EXP group because if you were invited by someone, that person is in my group, which means you'll be in my group. Everyone who joins my EXP group gets access to my training. So if you don't know what I've done for on and off 20 years, I've been a real estate trainer in, in lead generation mainly, and I've put together some, if I may say so myself, I don't know, somebody else can comment on it in the chat role, some of the best training in the world for estate agents. I have taken the very best of what I've done over 20 years and some little collaborations I've done with other agents and I've made these available to only to the people in my group. So, Mark, I don't do public training anymore. It is exclusively for the people in my group. And, and that's a little screenshot of some of the top training that I provide, my successful real estate agent course, my social media mastery course, and my lead gen blueprint are in there. Okay, so you get access to my training. 
The last thing I'm going to say about training is um, I play a very active role in the leadership of my group within EXP. So I've got about 600 odd at this point, 600 odd agents in my EXP uh, broader family. And I like to organize high quality training for the agents in my group. And because I know people overseas and I get invited to stuff, when I go to um, conferences, like I've just been to Texas, I meet people or I get opportunities to purchase training for the entire group. So the one on the left, for example, uh, that's one of the top real estate coaches in the world. His name is Bill Pups. He sold a course, which is, I can't remember what the value is. I paid, uh, I think I paid 10,000 Rand for it. And it starts next Thursday. I think it's the 3rd of August, if I'm correct. And I have bought this training for my whole group. And they don't have to pay for it. I bought it for them. So we've got a, an eight session series called Seg How to Become a Seven Figure. That's a seven figure US dollar, a million dollar agent that Bill Pipes, one of the top coach coaches in the world, is going to be running for us for eight weeks. And I've got it uh, for my group. Another example was what we did with Fred Wilson. Fred Wilson is a classic guy, he holds the record of the streak. Uh, this is a fact that he quoted to me, so <laughs> I'm assuming he was being accurate. But he said he sold a house every week for 37 years. How's that? And we did a six webinar series where I um, picked his brain on, tell us how you do it. And over that six webinar series, he unveiled what it is that he does. And that's now available as a, as a replay to everyone in my group. Okay, so that's enough on the training. I think you get the idea. We're big on training. Number three, um, the equity awards. So EXP is an agent-owned business. I said that to you. How does the, the equity awards work? Well, EXP listed on the NASDAQ, I think it was in 2018. Uh, that's the board of directors on the day that they, that they listed. Um, and you know when you list on the stock exchanges in America, at the, at the closing bell of the day, the, the company that's just listed on the stock exchange, if there's been one that day, the chairman of that company gets to shut down the world markets and, and, and ring the bell. And so there's a, there's a picture of old Glenn, uh, Glenn Sanford ringing the bell and shutting down the world technology markets, which is quite an honor. Okay, so EXP, you can look them up on your, on your app, on your phone. Just go to your, your, um, your trading app. It's EXPI is the handle, EXPI, your EXP World Holdings. And as you'll see, the share price uh, is around $23. Three months ago, it was on 11. Okay, so it's more than doubled in three months. It's on a good run. How do we get access to shares? Okay, look at the left-hand side of that screen, the lower left-hand side. You'll see the Agent Equity Awards are. There's three ways, actually there's four with the Icon Award, that you can get given shares for free at EXP. Okay, the first way is every year when you do your first deal with EXP, you get given 2,000 rands worth of shares. Hopefully for you, that will be in, a gen in January. Uh, it can be in February, whenever they'll give you two grand's worth of shares. Saying, hey, congratulations on your first deal for the year. Here's 2,000 rands worth of shares. They translate that into US dollars and they round it up. So if it would have bought you like uh, five and a half shares, they give you six shares. Where do the shares go? They get put into an account, it's called ShareWorks, that we get, which is a Morgan Stanley administered share scheme. So this is administered by one of the biggest banks in the world. We get a login, each of us, and you can log in anytime and you can see what the value of your shares is in, in US dollars. And it's sitting in US dollars. The second way you get given shares is when you cap. So if you do 600,000 gross commission, you've now paid in your 150, you capped, EXP says, oh, congratulations for capping. Here's 4,000 rands worth of shares. They just give you another four grand, goes into your Morgan Stanley account. You're building up a US dollar based asset in the background. And then if you were to sponsor another agent, now what does sponsor mean? It does not mean pay for. It's a technical term within the revenue sharing system, which basically means if you introduce EXP to another agent, when they join, they have to fill someone's name in. No one can join EXP in the world without listing an existing EXP agent as their sponsor. 
Everyone's got to have a sponsor to bring them into the business. So you tell your friend that you work with, they join EXP when they do their first deal. Now, this is not annual. This is a once-off. EXP will say, hey, congratulations, Brian. You sponsored David, and David's just done his first deal. You've brought a productive agent to the company. Congratulations. He has 4,000 rands worth of shares. Now, let me ask you, how many shares do you own in your company? You say, well, I own all the shares because I own my own small business. Okay, but that's not liquid. Do you, can you sell your business and then live off the profits for the next 20 years? There is one other, I'll get to it on the next slide, which is the, the Icon Award. But I have mentioned to you that if you become an icon, they give you 150,000 rands worth of shares. And that's your cap, they give it back to you. Now, for those shares that I've mentioned, I just listen to this, guys, because this is important. Don't say I didn't tell you. The shares we get given, Mahala, there is a, a vesting period. Okay, It takes three years for those shares to vest. What does that mean? It means you don't take legal ownership of the shares for three years. If you leave the company, you forfeit the shares. Okay, It's a very clever agent retention system. That's why they do it. And you know what? Fair enough. They're giving us the shares. So there's nothing to complain about. It's an incredibly effective agent retention tool. You know, trust me, I've got 300,000 rands with a share sitting there. I'm not going anywhere. Um, okay, then we have on the right-hand side, at the bottom there, it says the agent equity program. So that bottom right-hand tile. This is, a pro this is incredibly powerful. For those of you who work as agents, which would be all of you, you also can elect to participate in this program whereby they will withhold an additional 5% of your commissions. So before you cap, instead of paying you out 71, they're going to pay you out 66. After you cap, instead of paying you out 96, they'll pay you out 91. Okay? What do they do with that 5% of your commissions? It's your money. They're not taking it away from you. They are just redirecting it and they purchase EXP shares for you at a 10% discount. That is awesome. That means if you do the calculation on this, even if you never take advantage of the revenue sharing system where you attract other agents, if all you do is try to build up as many shares as you can, over the next 10 years, what would your gross commission be? So let's say you do a million rand a year, gross commission. That's 10 million rand over 10 years. You take 5% of that, 5% of 10 million is what's that, 500,000 rands worth of shares that you would have at a 10% discount in EXP, um, in your ShareWorks account. What will the share price of EXP be in 2033? This is the fastest growing real estate company in history. When we've gone from 90,000 agents to a million agents in 100 countries, what will the share price be? You could be sitting on, obviously, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what the share price will be. But guys, just look at this realistically. You could be sitting on tens of millions of rands worth of shares in a US dollar-based asset in 10 years' time if you just take advantage of their share of their equity program. So guys, you know, it's just so much to say for EXP. This is just one of their programs that helps agents become financially free. It's phenomenal. Okay, last one, the revenue sharing system. Um, like revenue sharing, what is this all about? Well, I hope I made it clear earlier that EXP make a bunch of money on the split that they take from agents, even though the split's only 25%, and then they, they cap that to a certain amount every year so they don't make a fortune off anybody. But as it adds up, there's a lot of revenue in the business. What do EXP do now? This is not profit. They're not sharing profit. That's what Keller Williams do with their growth share, and it, it's minuscule. EXP share the revenues of the business, and they are committed to giving 50% of their revenues back to the agents. Do you think about that? EXP give 50% of their revenues back to the agents. My revenue share was bumped up. It was a certain amount at the end of last month, and then when they did their calculation globally, 
of, of what the revenues were. There was additional revenue to pay out. It got bumped up by another 15,000 Rand. Little old Steven sitting in South Africa, many agents all around the world. I got an extra 15,000 Rand because EXP pay out 50% of their revenues. This is a phenomenal business, guys. Okay, so how do you benefit from the revenue sharing system? If you were to introduce EXP to another agent and you show them the video that you are currently watching, this is going to be available at the modelexplained.co.za. Okay, that's where you can always watch this video, the modelexplained.co.za. You show them the video, don't try to explain it, just show the video. Okay, they say to you, Wow, this thing looks incredible. I also want to join. When they sign the contract, they put your name as their sponsor. They now sit on what is known as your first tier. For first tier agents, every time they do a deal, up until the point they cap, EXP will pay you a small percentage of the revenues that the company is getting on those transactions. What is the percentage for first tier agents? It's actually 3.5%. You make 3.5% on their transactions, up to a maximum of 21,000 Rand per year. Okay, that's if it's a capping agent. Now, what's going to happen here is, let's say you're the orange person and the lady in white, her name is Mary. Mary doesn't live on an island. She also knows some estate agents because she's been in real estate to herself and she also likes the idea of earning passive income. So she speaks to her friend. His name is Bob. Mary is now the sponsor of Bob. Now, Bob sits on your second tier, right? EXP will pay you 4%. You actually make more than Mary does. Mary will make 3.5%. You make 4% on your second tier. So every time Bob does a transaction, you get paid a little bit of his split that gets paid to the company out of the company's portion, not out of Bob's portion. Okay, so for each agent you sponsor on your first tier, you can make up to 21,000 Rand per year. For each agent they sponsor, you can make up to 24,000 Rand a year. You can see how that starts to add up if multiple agents are joining. Now, the way EXP system works is you earn all the way through seven tiers. Okay, so it's not just Mary and Bob. It's the person Bob introduces and the next person and the next person and the next person through seven tiers. And we get a percentage of all of the revenues of all of those agents. And that's the, the, the slide of how it works. We can give you more detail on this. If you go to that follow-up resources link and you go and do your homework, one of the videos on that page as you scroll down explains this in more detail. And there's actually a little revenue share illustration that I give you there. If you were to introduce so many people, how much could it equal? It's worth watching. As your, your team, your, your team of, of partners grows, these people do not only have to be in South Africa. You can sponsor any agent in the world who is in a country where EXP operates. At the moment, that's 24 countries. So do you know anyone in America, in real estate, or Canada, or the Dominican Republic, or Mexico, or Panama, or Puerto Rico, or Colombia, or Chile, or Brazil, or India? Or, or Dubai, Dubai is a great opportunity for South Africans, or Spain, or Portugal, or Greece, or Italy, or Israel, or Poland, Germany, France, the UK, Hong Kong, Australia, or New Zealand. Do you know anybody in those countries? Well, let me tell you what happened to me. I had a previous client who actually lives in France. When EXP launched in France, I sent him an email. He joined EXP. I've had virtually nothing to do with him since then. When he did a deal, I got paid six times the amount on his revenue share as I normally get paid on a South African agent. Why? Because of the exchange rate. Now, I just, I'm, I'm, I know I'm talking fast, guys, but I want you to just put the pause button there for a second. And I want you to think about the power of this. Where in the world can you, in the industry which you know, which is real estate, by not changing what you do. We're not asking you to buy some toothpaste that you're not buying or some vitamins that you weren't taking before. We're asking you to work as an estate agent for a better split and to get shares in, in a global company and then introduce this concept to others. 
where in the world can you earn income on an estate agent in Canada when they do a deal and one in France and one in Greece and one in Portugal. And if they introduce people to the business, you'll get paid a, a passive income on all of their deals in foreign nations without having to start a real estate company of your own in Canada, Portugal, Greece, and France. And your monthly expenses are going to be 900 Rand a month. And you will have a global real estate company earning income from agents all over the world. This is what EXP have done, guys. It is absolutely mind boggling. I already now have an agent in France. I've got an agent in America and I've got an agent in Dubai. And it's going to keep growing. God willing, it's going to keep growing. This is the best opportunity you've ever seen in real estate. And you need to take it seriously. Okay. So what could it look like? If you want to be retired in five years time, I said to you, you can build a five-year exit plan for yourself. Now, I'm going to lay out some numbers on the revenue sharing system. It'll never work this uniformly, okay? This is just for illustrative purposes, just to show you how the, comp the, the, the exponential growth of this thing works. Let's say over the next couple of years, you were to sponsor just 10 people. Okay, you just showed the video to 10 other estate agents who join. And then they each do the same. Now, that's the part that's never going to work that uniformly. But let's say, on average, they each do the same. You sponsor 10, they each sponsor 10. That means you've got 100 on your second tier. Just with that, no other growth. We're not looking at your third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh tiers. Just on those two tiers. If those were capping agents, you would make 2.6 million rand a year which is about 200,000 Rand a month. You say, hey, what? excuse me? Exactly. Guys, I've been in this for two and a half years. I've personally sponsored, uh, I think I've got 83 agents on my first tier. 83 on my first tier. On my second tier, this is just after two and a half years. I've already got 232 on my second tier, 137 on my third tier, 104 on my fourth tier, 38 on my fifth tier, 17 on my sixth tier, 13 on my seventh tier. It's only just starting. So, I mean, the numbers you're talking about are no longer theory for me. And you can do what I've done. And if you get into our team, we will help you do it. Okay, now let me just back track from that or backpedal from it. If you're not interested in the agent attraction side of things, you don't have to do this. You just want to come into eXp, you get 71% of your commission from the word go and then 96% after you cap. And you get given tens of thousands of rands worth of shares in the company. If that's all you're interested in, power to you. Come for that. You don't have to do this. But this is an opportunity if you want it. And I'll tell you, I've never seen an opportunity this good in my 25 years as a business owner. Um, okay, so what are your next steps? Um, number one, as I said to you, schedule a follow-up appointment now with the person who introduced you today. Go and do some homework. It's not going to kill you. The more homework you do, the better, okay? So dive into that page and then book an appointment. Get together. Go and have coffee with the person who invited you here. Number two, I would strongly suggest you get access to eXp's contract because you don't want to move to eXp without first reading the contract. How do you do that? Click that link. What does it look like? It looks something like this, the eXp South Africa website. There's a button as you scroll down that says explore eXp or become an agent or something like that. You click it. There's a little terms and conditions page. You just tick that and then it shows you a form. Okay, you're not joining eXp when you do this. You are simply... All it does actually is it triggers an email from EXP system that sends you the contract. Then you can read through the contract. It's like 48 pages. So, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time to read through the thing. But you don't want to sign something you haven't read. So that's number two, get access to the contract. Number three, I want to challenge you to do a save me beta test. I want you to phone your best friends in real estate, people who know you, like you, trust you, and you can do this with them. I want you to watch this video because I, I'm thinking of getting involved with this real estate business, but I want you to save me 
if I'm doing something stupid. Okay, I need your advice. I need your help. It's a very easy way to get a bunch of people to watch the video. So, guys, God bless you. I want to thank you for joining me here today. And I hope that this has at least given you what I promised to give you, um, a well-communicated, clear explanation of EXP's system. And I really want to encourage you to take a further look into it. And if you do join us at EXP, I can't wait to welcome you onto the team.